Hi everybody, Dr. Sam Zoranovich here again today. I just wanna give you a really quick and easy yoga-based movement and pose to help you stretch out the hamstrings, soften the low back, and make sure that you've got plenty of blood flowing up to your brain as possible. This is another really, really super simple pose that you can practice every day without any worries, um, and it's really easy. So uh, you have probably done this before if you've ever done a yoga class at all, what we're gonna do together today is forward folding. So to begin, stand with your feet pretty close together. They don't have to be touching. That's the usual yoga instruction. And if you can do that, great. Um, they don't have to be, just have them close. You're gonna allow your knees to be soft and bend a little bit as you reach toward the floor. Okay, I'm already doing it. Now, if I wanna advance this a little bit, I might gently work my knees a little straighter. I might also work my hands a little lower and I might press up to this halfway up straight back position and then lower again. So my first and best recommendation for this pose is once you're here standing forward fold stay here for about a minute. You can always come halfway and go back in. You can grasp your elbows and then you're just dangling. I'm feeling a stretch up the backs of my thighs, up my hamstrings. And lengthening the hamstrings is actually a great way to create more room for the low back to stay soft and easy. A lot of low back pain is actually tightness in the hamstrings. So if your low back is tight from sitting all day, try this. Let's come all the way back up slowly and do one variation on this. That is enough and you can do exactly that. Hold it for 30 seconds to a minute and it will help, especially if you do it regularly. Open the hamstrings, soften the low back and because your head is below your heart in that position, make sure that blood is getting to your brain. But if you wanna to add to that a little bit of calming, soothing um, movement to it, here's a way to do it. I'm gonna take a big full inhale while I'm standing. Exhale, forward fold. Just as far as you go without pushing. I'm gonna inhale halfway up Pressing my hands into my shins, lengthening my spine. Exhale deeper again. Hands to the floor or towards the floor. And then inhale all the way up. I'm gonna inhale and exhale my hands towards the floor. My knees can bend, but I do wanna work them as straight as comfortable. Inhale halfway up, exhale down. Inhale all the way up, did it. Let's go again. Exhale down. Inhale halfway, exhale down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale down. Halfway up. All the way down. All the way up. By linking the breath and movement, we're calming the brain down gradually over time with repetition. Again, inhale, exhale all the way down. Inhale halfway up. Exhale all the way down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale down. Halfway. Down. Stand up. That's it. 
super, super simple. You can do that three or four times. You can do it 10 times. You can spend an hour and a half doing it if you got that kind of time. The purpose of this, again, is, of course, lengthening the hamstrings and softening the low back. And by hanging upside down for an extended period of time, getting blood flow back to the brain to think clearly. I hope this helps, and I hope this helps drop your stress levels as the holidays are approaching. Take good care.